The, I have two small poems. They're both in flux. I'm smiling at a very dear face here, mm -hmm. of someone who has moved to the West Coast. <laughs> And I can't believe she's here to visit with us right now, Terry Ann Carter. Oh, well there. That's why you're still here. I thought you were gone. My heart was broken. So I'm so happy to see you. <laughs> the first one is called Lifeline, and I am dedicating it to Terry Ann Carter. I am here thrashing in the slippery conglomeration of where I've been, I am here. In the layered momentousness, chocolate and lime, cucumbers and dried cocoa beans, crystallized sugar, wasabi, prunes and grapes, sweetmeats, suet and rum, oh, that Christmas dinner of me and I am seeking the lifeline out. <laughs> I don't know, I got Christmas on the brain. <laughs> we did a workshop with Pearl, which was wonderful, and it was a Christmas poem as well. And this next one, um, I don't know, it's another similar theme, yikes, I just realized it. Two written at very different times. A hole, anything can be a hole open itself and swallow the light. A look can suck you in, a tone of voice, a question you don't know the answer to. It's not for us to decide how we die. Go strangely certain it will be nothing you need fear. Anything can bring you to the brink and when you look deeply in, you may feel, as I do sometimes, that you've lived wrong. This is when the hole opens itself and the light it swallowed leads you out the other side. <laughs> Thank you.